everyone and welcome back to my wine diary. On this channel I do everything wine related, wine reviews, wine tastings, educational and fun videos, so if you're into wine as much as I am, please consider subscribing. As I am currently a candidate for the WSET Level 2 certification, I am getting prepped for my exam coming up in a few months. I've shot a lot of videos on both WSET Level 1, WSET Level 2, exam sample questions, my experience with WSET so far, WSET versus Court of Master Sommelier certification. So all of those videos are linked down below. You can check out my channel and subscribe and check them out. Those are my most popular videos. Now with those videos came a lot of questions as well. Through YouTube and Instagram, I receive many questions on a daily basis about WSET and all of the peculiarities about the certification, and a lot of them have to do with jobs. Wine and spirit industry is dynamic, it's diverse, and it opens a lot of opportunities when it comes to jobs. WSET certification can potentially offer a lot of opportunities in different fields when it comes to wines. So think about wine writing, wine academics, uh, wine distribution, bars and restaurants, consulting, and many, many more. So going into today's video, I decided to give you some examples of jobs that you could potentially apply for with the WSET certification, and I've divided them into three categories. Those are service, uh, commercial and also production. So first we're going to start with the service roles and opportunities and here the first one that comes to my mind is a bartender's job. So a bartender you think may not require any certification but let me tell you something with the consumer being more and more sophisticated nowadays our public really demands more knowledge from bartenders and if it's not demanded then it's definitely appreciated and as we know bartenders work for tips so it definitely works in their advantage to know more about mixology and wines as well. So those bartenders who hold WSET certifications may not only get a better job, in a sense of a better place, but also a much higher salary. The second job in the service category is a sommelier, of course. And sommeliers are highly knowledgeable wine professionals that mostly work in high-end restaurants, and they don't only help customers choose wine or suggest wine and food pairings, but they also curate wine lists for the restaurant itself. Sometimes they do the buying of wines for the restaurants. So there's a lot that goes in it. And I know that y'all are going to come at me saying that WS SET technically doesn't give you a sommelier's designation. It does not, you're right about this, but a lot of restaurants will still hire a WSET certified person to work as their sommelier, so possibilities are endless here. The last job under the service category is a waiter or a waitress job. Now with this one, of course you don't need a WSET certification to become a waiter or be hired as a waitress. However, this is again one of those positions where you have a much better chance of getting a higher paid job or a better restaurant to work in if you have one of those designations. So it certainly would not hurt you to have it. Now we're moving into the commercial category and jobs that come within it. Now these roles usually include sourcing wines, buying wines, selling them, marketing wines and spirits as well. So here, of course, the first one that comes to my mind is a buyer. Now a buyer is a person that's responsible for buying, sourcing wines, buying them, and then just in general keeping an eye on the demands of the market so that the companies are definitely well stocked and a lot of times buyers would also uh, keep an eye on warehouses so they will make sure that everything is in the right stock uh, so it's a loaded position really that may require you to have a marketing degree of some sort as well but the WSET certification will certainly help our buyers to be better rounded the next two jobs in the commercial category have to do with sales and the first one is retail position so imagine merchants that run uh, and operate a premises where wine and spirits are sold so like a wine store or liquor store for instance now those people a lot of times have uh, other responsibilities like taking orders over the phone or maybe online but then going beyond that, they are sometimes responsible for tracking those orders going to our customers. A lot of times, um, retail wine positions have to do with some samplings of wines in stores, maybe organizing some events, hosting some little tastings and whatnot. That's one side of it. And the second side, 
our second option for sales positions in wine industry is wholesaling. So when it comes to wholesales, here we have um, someone who can do telesales, for instance. So imagine you being a representative for a couple of wineries and calling clients and retail shops restaurants and bars and trying to uh, get them buy the product that you're selling or it can be a field sales representative in that case you would be going door to door to pubs restaurants um, wine stores wine bars hotels um, anything like that and again you would try to represent your clients from the wine side uh, in order to sell their product the next job type that you can get with a WSET designation under the commercial category is a brand manager and now this one falls into the marketing industry a little bit more and here what you're doing as a brand manager is you're really creating a long-lasting relationship with the brand that you're working with uh, when it comes to delivering it to the consumers. So here you may need to have a lot of analytical and communication skills as well. As brand managers, a lot of time, create long-term and short-term marketing plans. Uh, they also do a lot of presentations. Uh, they analyze some data. So with this one, I would say it definitely helps to get some sort of a marketing degree, like a bachelor's degree in marketing on top of your WSET designation. Another job in the commercial category is an events manager. Now, this one is really important on the marketing side of the wine industry too. Events managers, of course, help uh, the companies to be branded better. They help uh, um, to build their portfolio and market them to consumers better. So responsibilities for an events manager uh, working for a wine company will of course include um, creating and setting up events when it comes to wines. Maybe it's wine tastings, exhibitions, shows, and etc. Last but not least under the commercial category, here we have a brand ambassador. Now brand ambassadors are super popular nowadays, not just in the wine industry, but wine industry is starting to catch up with brand ambassadors such as social platforms, maybe hiring someone uh, to just work off-site for you. Now, what brand ambassadors do is they promote the product, right? So they deliver some education and advocacy to the public, and sometimes they're paid freelancely, so to say, so they just get paid per a promotion or they get hired on salary basis too. But essentially what a brand ambassador does is really, again, just helps the marketing side of the business. They help um, get the word about a company out there. They uh, use their audience a lot of times if it's social media platforms to educate people about a certain brand and get some links to their websites to order some wines. So it's a pretty interesting position and it definitely is tied back in with marketing. Let's now move into the production category. So here we have jobs that are directly related with the winemaking process. Maybe it's working for the winery or overlooking a vineyard. We will start with a viticulturist. Viticulturists, for the most part, need to have a separate degree in viticulture that they get from colleges or universities. So you may not just get away with a WSET designation here. That is a high expertise level position. What a viticulturist does is basically overlooks um, the overall health of the vineyards. And uh, they are responsible for some decisions about harvest, uh, pest and disease control. They decide when to prune vineyards, for instance, so all of that, a lot of outdoor activities. So it's a very active position. And then they work very closely with winemakers in a specific winery. Um, they sometimes uh, work with grape buyers as well, with the grapes that are produced in a certain vineyard. So it's a loaded position. It's very highly rewarded from what I heard as well but there is a lot that goes into being a viticulturist. A vineyard manager, on the other hand, may not necessarily be required to have a viticulture degree. So what a vineyard manager does is first of all, uh, be responsible for every step of the way of uh, the grape growing. So a uh, vineyard manager also checks the day-to-day -day operations of the vineyards. This position is suitable for people who love working with others, who love being outdoors. So think about what a vineyard does um, on day-to-day -day basis. Your vineyard manager overlooks all of that and makes it all happen. The next job under the production category is a grape picker. Now, grape picking requires a lot of strength and you have to be very active to work this job. Not only that you would be required to pick the grapes, 
a lot of times a grape picker would also need to load the grapes into the truck that carries grapes into the winery itself then you may be asked to do some sorting of the grapes too so you can destem them on a sorting table for instance on top of that, a lot of times grape pickers are also required to clean some uh, equipment in the winery too, which can be pretty challenging. So this is the one, not for the faint of hearts. Another job under the production category is of course a winemaker. Now winemaker is a very, um, very high responsibility position. So here a winemaker is of course responsible for uh, crushing the grapes, pressing the juice and then fermentation process as well. During the process of fermentation, a winemaker is responsible for making decisions like uh, is this wine going to be aged? Are we going to be blending this, um, this wine here? Are we adding any oak characteristics to it? So all of that is behind the winemaker's mind to decide. And winemakers work very closely with viticulturists that we talked about just a second ago as well as the vineyard manager. So here, WSET designation may not be the only designation that you will be required to have, but it will certainly help you to get the job. And to piggyback off the last position that we just discussed on the production side, we also have a winery worker. Now this can be many different things, but for the most part, it's a very technical position. So think about keeping an inventory check uh, on all of the equipment, for instance, blending the wines, making sure that the sanitation levels of the tanks and the equipments uh, is absolutely impeccable and then racking too so it may require a lot of physical fitness health uh, but then also you will have to work with the winemaker very closely so those were the jobs that you can get with the help of wset designation in the service production and winemaking categories now i also want to give you two bonus points here or two more jobs that i can think of that you can certainly get with the help of the WSET designation and those would be a wine educator wine educator is a very uh, broad term and this position may require uh, for you to be responsible for many things but for the most part think about it this way just in California in between Napa County and Sonoma County we have over 800 wineries those wineries need a person who will greet their guests do a little tour of the winery do some little tasting and just in general educate visitors uh, about the winery that they're visiting. So you can be that person with a WSET designation. I know for sure you don't need any other any other degree of any sort to work that job. Now, those jobs may sometimes be seasonal only, but for the most part, wineries hire wine educators all year long. And the very last one I think is the most fun, and that is a wine entertainer. Now, that can be many things as well, but what I'm thinking about is someone who holds an in-person or a virtual wine tasting event, somebody who brings wine to educate people on to a birthday party, to a dinner party, maybe a bachelorette party or anything in between so a wine entertainer is something that i am very seriously looking into because i think that every job should be a lot of fun for you to really be passionate about it and i think that a wine entertainer is definitely one of them guys this is everything for my video today and i know i probably haven't mentioned a lot of potential jobs that you can get with a wset course now this is the beauty of it this is the beauty of the wine industry it is so dynamic and fast growing that there are literally new jobs popping on the market every single day so please let me know any other thoughts that you have in mind when it comes to jobs in the wine industry and how a WSET designation can help you get them if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i will come at you next week with my new video and until next time cheers everyone